Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes. I can hear me now. We can hear you now. <laughs> um, quorum. Brian Christian is absent. Gary is here. Jim Rashad. <coughs> Present. <clears throat> Matthew Hagen absent. Pam, Pam Avery. Avera, I'm sorry. Uh, absent. Mark. Absent. Richard Veldman is here. Tim Norris is here. Tony Anderson. Here. One, two, three, four. We do have a quorum of five. <clears throat> um, before we begin, are there any public comments on the agenda today? Uh, seeing none, we will go to 18-1572, uh, which is old business. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Chairman. Appreciate your time this morning, Council Members. The uh, purpose of this meeting is to uh, uh, give you opportunity to review some items that I had erroneously reported at our October 2nd meeting. And uh, first, I'd like to apologize for the errors I made in the presentation that I gave that morning. Uh, I have no excuses. Uh, I got in a hurry, didn't uh, take the opportunity to proofread, and uh, uh, therefore I had a few uh, inaccurate statements in the recommendation section of this uh, document. So uh, once I was made known of that and aware of it, I sent the uh, complete council a uh, revised copy that included uh, strikes and underlines of the errors that were made. I also transmitted that information to the uh, two advisory committees, the Beach Management Committee and the Destination Improvement Committee. And I also forwarded it to um, the Board of County Commissioners to let them know uh, that I had uh, some errors in a presentation that may have affected a uh, vote by this uh, council. And I also sent that information to all the beach vendors since it affected the beach vendors. And so like I said, today's meeting is an opportunity to, uh, uh, for y'all to review that information that had inaccurate uh, presentation to it. So the document you have before you today is the uh, uh, one that contains the strikes and underlines of the errors that I made. And in that, the section is, is the section called Beach Management Committee, uh, Destination Improvement Committee, uh, uh, and it's the recommendations that were made uh, on the uh, different code revisions. Can, can I interrupt here, Mr. Chairman? Uh, I feel a little uncomfortable with so few people here, some of our people out there. I know there's not that many, but I would like to make a motion that we move these forward to the BCC without a recommendation from this board. And they will still be heard in the same way. Uh, and the, the BCC is going to decide all this anyway. And uh, I just, uh, you know, it, it was messed up through, you know, not blaming anybody, certainly not Brian. I know Brian's busy as, as anybody in this county. But uh, rather than us sit here and hash over what was said and what wasn't said and and I'll, uh, I would just make a, recommend, make a motion that we move it forward without a approval or a lockdown from this board. Mm -hmm. Clay, can we, can we do a recommendation without doing the vote? I, I, I'm confused at this point. No, I, I mean, I'm just voting that we don't comment on it. We just move it forward, and we, I know we've done that in the past. The, the board absolutely has the authority to pass the recommendations of the committee on in full with all comments without comment for approval or denial. Gotcha. You're, you're an advisory board. Uh, given the fact that you've received those, effectively what you're sending on is the TDC has no additional comments to what its advisory committee has already found. So you're not commenting for or against. You're saying we're presenting you what you have. Given the nature of this situation, we don't feel need to provide additional comment to it beyond what we've previously done. The BCC can rule them in that fashion. I think Commissioner Anderson's point to that, considering that this really has always been a BCC issue, and some of these issues, as you recall, we talked about last time, were really not within the purview of the TDC and fall outside of that. We'd already said that about a couple of those issues. 
I, I see no reason why in light of this, that's not the appropriate step for us to forward them back on in that process. I think that fulfills the BCC's request of you to take another look at these. The only reason I would see really the need to go through and comment and discuss on each one is that the TDC truly feels differently that just something should not be included in its recommendation. Otherwise, it's a matter of nuance of what is going to be approved or not. Okay, thank you, Clay. Um, so at this point, we have a motion um, by uh, Mr. Anderson. I second. Uh, motion second by Tim Norris. Uh, any public comments? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Uh, for the record, Lisa, would you make a note that uh, Matt is here this morning? Uh, we mark him as absent. Uh, are there any other council comments? Seeing none, any public comments? Go ahead, Jay. It's not related to this, but I just wanted to give the council a quick update on some initiatives <coughs> that the TDC is working on for Hurricane Michael relief efforts. So, uh, a couple of things. Uh, one, we uh, partner with 30a.com uh, and we produce some t shirts for sales. And 100% uh, of the proceeds of those shirt sales are going to hurricane relief efforts. Um, so, we produce the shirt, it says Shore Up on the front and on the back, it says Beach Strong, and it has our logo on the uh, sleeve. And so, our goal was to raise $100,000. And so far, as of yesterday, we raised $88,000. And we've already re released $60,000 to the Sonda Project, and they're buying supplies and distributing them next door to our neighbors who are in need. So that's really great that we're able to really hit the ground running and assist our neighbors in their hour of need. Um, so our goal is $100,000, so we're close. We're hoping to sell out of shirts uh, today or tomorrow. So I wanted to give you an update on that. Uh, a little bit bigger, we're trying to plan a benefit concert uh, in mid-November, and uh, we've been in conversation with Grand Boulevard uh, to use their facility as a venue. And uh, so I'm in contact with a um, media company right now, a broadcast media company that we'd air the show on. And so I'm uh, still working that through, so I don't want to release the name of that media company just yet, but I should have that ironed out today. Um, so we're looking at being some type of a sponsor for that event where we bring in, you know, perhaps three to five acts, and then all the money that would be donated would go towards Hurricane Michael relief efforts. Um, so um, I think that uh, we can raise some significant funds now that we're looking at a big media partner. This media company is in uh, 96, 92 markets, sorry, in 44 states. So uh, I think we could have some reach between their broadcast and digital assets. Um, so I think we can raise some significant funds. So anyway, wanted to give you an update on those couple of efforts that we're working on. And then lastly, we created a website called waltoncountycares.com. And we are collecting information from our partners in various ways. So if it's a bed tax collector or a restaurant or whatever the venue may be, uh, we are uh, collecting information and disseminating it on that website. So kind of trying to find a one-stop shop for information uh, to be disseminated. So um, if, you have a, if you get a chance to take a look at it, it's called waltoncountycares.com. Uh, very proud of what we've been able to do just in the relatively short time, just a week and a half since the storm. And uh, we are certainly looking at ways that we can help our neighbors. Uh, some of our staff have been over uh, assisting, um, and there are actually a few people out today helping. So um, we're really making an effort to help those in their hour of need. So I just want to give you an update on that. If there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Yeah, and um, I think most of us here that are on the council, and probably a lot of people in the audience, <clears throat> uh, there's been a tremendous effort by people in, in Walton County, uh, individually mm -hmm. and as groups. Yeah. Um, and, and you see the horror Tony was just telling me, unless you see it firsthand, uh, you can't appreciate it. But on the other hand, there's been thousands of um, <clears throat> acts of kindness um, so, um, just want to say thanks to the community and well, I'll just keep all those people in our prayers. And, and everyone pulling together is what makes a difference. I mean, you know, I'm from Certainly Louisiana does. and with Katrina and it's not just big corporations and yeah, we need their dollars, but it, it's neighbor helping neighbor and family helping family. That's what makes the difference. Yeah. That's Thank why we're Americans. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you. You bet. Uh, seeing no further business, need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Uh, I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Meetings adjourned. Lisa? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No. Thank you so much. I'm here.
Yeah, exactly. 